this video, we're going to see how we can assign a geographic coordinate system to a file and then export that file out to Google Earth. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Tools pull down. I'm going to go down to Geographic. I'm going to open this up as a toolbox. On this toolbox, I'm going to go to the first icon here. And currently, there's no GCS or geographic coordinate system assigned to this file. So I'm going to select this icon from Library. This opens up the Select Geographic Coordinate System dialog. I'm going to go to Library. And you've got three basic choices. In this case, my DGN file was done by Northing and Eastings. So I'm going to choose Projected. I choose North America, United States of America. I li have listed all the states. I'm going to go to California. Now in this situation, you've got lots of choices. You have to make sure that you choose the correct one. In this case, I'm going to be doing CA83 IIF. NAD 83, California coordinate or state plane, zone 3, US foot. Again, if your file was a meters, you'd be choosing meters. Uh, if it was a different zone, you'd be choosing a different zone. And there's lots of choices, so you, if you're not positive, maybe a little trial and error. In this case, I know this is going to work, so I select that one, I click OK. I get a dialog box that pops up. In this case, my file has working units of feet, so it says geographic elements are correctly drawn in foot the storage unit should not be changed. So I'm going to click OK to that. Now you see I have a coordinate system applied to my file. What this is going to do is provide me to export this out to, in this case, Google Earth. Google Earth will recognize that coordinate location and then project my elements directly onto that spot with Google Earth. So I back to the geographic dialog box. There's an icon here, Export Google Earth KML file. I click on this. I get a dialog box that pops up, wants to know where do I want to put the file. I'm going to click, I'm just going to change the name down here to make it different because I already have an existing one. I'll click Save. Down on my status bar, I see Creating Google Earth KML File. Give it a moment here. This automatically launches Google Earth, zooms in on the location where the microstation elements would be located in the real world. And then if I zoom in here, you can see there's the microstation elements projected right on top. And I can go along. You can see there's the pathway, there's fences. So all of it is coordinate correct. Again, as well as the survey information was taken in, that's going to determine in the accuracy in Google Earth and also Google Earth is it's a photograph so it's been projected and ortho rectified so there may be a little bit of skewing. On the left hand side here for my places if I extend this out I have also the ability to turn on or turn off levels. So you can see as I uncheck these so I'm turning off features just like I would in MicroStation so I can simplify what it is that I'm looking at. So that's how you would export out to Google Earth a MicroStation DGN file.